I'm gonna catch you, butterflies. I'm gonna catch the butterflies. Oh no. Oh no. Hello and welcome to another Reality Check VR video. Today we're going to play with Leap Motion. The developer Isaac Cohen has made a lot of audio-visual type experiments that are really cool, so I wanted to check out a few of those. Um, then after that, I wanted to see uh, Sightline, the chair. It has a Leap Motion support now, so let's see what that looks like. And since my Leap is attached to my Oculus for these, I'll just have to set it down next to it. It'll work. If any of you actually played around with uh, Leap Motion before or uh, saw the YouTube demos, you might have seen this, which was uh, one of his first experiments. Yeah. Basically, when you touch something, you get these audio clues because you actually hear something. It almost gives you the idea that you're there. Since you can't actually feel it with your hands, you get the audio sensation, which really does help. Sky Sphere, just to read it real quick, to say anything about it. Reach out and touch the sky sphere. Oh. I see. Yo. Yo. Let's see what the parameters are up here. Rotation speed, okay. Soul. Pollution radius. Ooh. See, the DJs of the future have some cool stuff to play with. Come on now. Yo. It looks really cool. I thought about playing with this in my uh, Oculus Rift in the virtual desktop mode. The problem with that is it is only configured for your hands to be in, in this direction above the leap. So you'd have to be like this and it would just feel weird. So, all right, that is Sky Sphere. Let's check out the next one, which is Paintball. Reach out and touch the iridescent paintball. This example can be used with either, with either a mouse or a leap motion controller. Either, either. Which one is it? Is it either or is it either? That's probably the most important thing we could figure out if somebody would just look. Either or either. We need to know that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. This one doesn't have any music, so no music for it. We will be the music for it. This actually, I don't know how to explain this. This really feels interesting. It's like the ball is the most squishiest ball you could ever touch. Like a marshmallow. It reminds me of a marshmallow. That's weird. I feel like I'm playing with marshmallow play with in this one. No, this one's just a paintball. It's like paint marsh ball. Mellow paint marsh ball. Marsh paint mellow ball. Marshmallow paintball. There we go. That's just the best one. Alright. So that's a pretty cool thing. I actually think that is really... That's interesting how that feels. That other one felt nothing like this. I know it just looks like I'm playing with putty, but it just it feels like... I feel like I'm like playing with the fluffiest marshmallow. Or pull it out, and pull it out, and pull it out, and we'll stretch it out my way, and we'll stretch it out, and then we'll push it in, push it in, push it in. Oh, yeah, 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 Launch experience. Loading music, this might take a moment. Audio by JJ Vern, code by Kabibo. Is that you, Isaac Cohen? Kabibo? Hmm, I think so. All right, uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, got my hands in front of me. So I swim? Yeah, I swim, interesting. Oh, weird. That's so weird. That's cool, but... So I touch the button. Boom. Oh, there's, there's sound. Oh, no, no. I'm coming. Oh, weird. This gives me some good ideas. So, 
am I doing? Yeah, I can go backwards now. Huh? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah. Toggle lifelines. Toggle normal. I'm turning everything on. Everything maximum. Everything. Ma okay, now. I don't know. What did I do to it? Some of these things are just downright weird. Can I rotate? No, not really. I can go to the mountains, though. <laughs> Yep, I broke the game. I broke the game. Alright, that was pretty sweet. I don't think Dragonfish is going to work. I tried it once before and it really slowed down um, my system. Maybe because my computer's bad. Maybe because it's just too much for my browser to handle. Let's try it out again. Load in the Dragonfish. The Dragonfish is loading. We're loading the Dragonfish. Cause the Start. Move your mouse to rotate. Hold mouse to accelerate. Catch critters to grow and then you'll be slow if you just, just sing the song. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. As you see, it's really weird and it is too much stuff going on. Oh. All right, now there's Sightline the Chair featuring Leap Motion Support. Um, I'm going to download that and see if we can't get that started. So, here, once again, we're going to attempt, attempt to play Sightline the Chair with hands from Leap Motion. Let's see if I can finally get it to work. We're going to do the fast demo loop with the graphics set on simple. <laughs> Until I get a better graphics card. That's the way it's going to be. All right. Oh. Yep, I remember this. Welcome to Sightline the Chair. Thank you. I'm Tomasz Marenczyk, aka Proxius, and in this experience, I would like to show you the possibilities of virtual reality to Ooh, create I got my hand in here. that feel real, but also oh, yeah. the potential of VR to create the realities that behave unlike anything that Whatever you, you say, I like it. Good work. Yeah. the computer on the right. Right. Now Donuts. Now, the plan. Oh, the plan changed. I'll leave it to you to figure out. But you. One thing. You. Keep looking around. Keep observing your environment. Because in the world of Sightline, you can make things happen simply by looking. Enjoy oh, oh, the oh. experience. And by touching the touching the coffee cup. Can I touch that? Can I touch? Oh, I can act like I'm the one moving it. Oh. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> ah, ah, colors! There's colors! <laughs> Whoa. 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 There's colors there! And there! And there! Nice. It's beautiful. Can I touch the ball? Oh, can I touch the? Oh. I'm gonna catch you, butterflies. I'm gonna catch the butterflies. Oh no. Oh no. That's the castle where they pushed the little boy, and it's gone. I was gonna say. The little stock child fell from the castle wall. Alright. Butterflies? <laughs> it's like under the dome. There's a dome behind me, huh? No. No, none of that. Oh, it's under the castle. Lady Sansa is the one. Right up there at the top. Oh no. Oh no, the birds are circling me. I died. I have this weird little. There's this little bit of fear, like they're gonna shit on my head. <laughs> I was like, even though they're virtual, I like literally have just a little bit of fear that that would happen. Mm. I love how the city begins to encompass you after being stuck in the, the nice little garden for so long. Oh, what's gonna happen next? What, what's it? 
Seriously, what do I... I must, nah, my, you're supposed to put this on top of my thing, and I didn't do it before I started, so... Alright. Seriously, what's going on right now? Ah. We're in London, eh? Oh, I... <laughs> it's like... I hate how those things keep changing. Oh, yeah, I remember the car part. It scared the crap out of me the first time it happened, though. Rightfully so. Where the hell did the car go? So, so check it out. You're looking up your hands. <laughs> They're here. They're there. They're here. They're there. Yeah. What gives, guy? What gives? Oh. <laughs> oh, man. See, I can't believe. Oh, I want the chicken. I want that. Give me some of that. Oh, I want it in my mouth. Oh. That noise. That noise right there. Oh, it's messed up. Oh, I can touch the balls. <laughs> Don't listen to what I just said. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, I wanted to kick it. My first reaction was to kick my foot forward, hoping that it would somehow be tracking my legs right now. And yes, I know what you're saying. There's all kinds of things that would track my legs right now, but I don't have them. Woo. Nor will I ever. Oh, I, there's a microphone in front of my face. My arms, I just feel like I'm a little restricted. Like, I can only move them one foot away from me. And I know it depends on the bubble that they give you, but it seems like they gave me a small, small bubble. What's happening next? I feel like things are obviously going to happen badly for me right now. This is, uh-huh. Well, the walls seem to be getting closer. I don't understand it. This room is smaller than it used to be. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, no, my lamp! My lamp! If I look at them long enough, they blow up. Boom! Yeah, boom. I want to look at the big one. It isn't... It won't work. Oh, what's that? Don't panic. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Is that what that is? <laughs> hey, is that... Is that a little everyday VR thing going on the back? Nice. Boom, boom. 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 Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. It's... It's... It's a little weird being here on a chair. Yeah, and leap motion hands, it's great to have your hands in your environment. I do have to say that. Even though there's really no point in having your hands in this game, the fact that I can look up in front of me and put my hand in front of me and there's a hand there is just significant. I, I, I think that... It's kind of necessary to have in most situations. Unless, of course, you're not trying to be a human in a game, or even then, just to be able to control something with your arms is somewhat necessary in VR. I really like how this gives me the presence here. Um, of course, the better computer you have, the better system, better motherboard and processing power that you have, uh, obviously it's gonna work better for you than what you're probably seeing here on mine. Oh, see, even this I could like say, no! I don't want it to get me! Can I touch it? Oh no. I go through it. Blah, blah, blah. I wonder if I could touch those things. I don't know if I want to though. They look where I... or they go where I look. This is one of the weirdest things that I've, I've seen, but it it's still really cool because it's just... 
It's all really smooth. I, <laughs> you really do feel lost in this insane kind of a alien world. It feels like it feels like I'm being born into an alien system, and I myself am an alien. And that's mother, mother. Remember this one, yes we do. We're sitting on a building and what'll you do? That part right there, wow. Oh, I can't believe it gave me chills. I already knew it was gonna happen and it still gave me chills. Ah! <laughs> oh. When I get the chills, I get, it gets me in my eyes too, just a little bit. Uh, like I said, leap motion support in there is just cool because it really makes you feel like you're there. Uh, put your hand up and it moves. It, it it helps with the immersion. I I knew it was going on the whole time, but I certainly felt more immersed than I did the first time I went through that. So uh, props to you guys for getting that support put in there. I hope you guys like the video. Till next time.